Hey guys, Andres here. Just wanna give you guys a quick demo. We're gonna be running three different test events. So we have our our environment set up between both systems, both Tosca and QTest. And so we have some tests for each one of those sections or components. So we have uh, some for the APIs. Here we're gonna be testing, you know, some of the get endpoints. Uh, we're also gonna be testing against the GUI. So we're gonna, you know, verify that the table's visible. We're gonna make sure that the headers are there. We're gonna verify a row, make sure there, um, the data within that row is correct. And we're also gonna verify the number of rows that are being displayed. And we're also gonna be running some checks on the database. Uh, so we're gonna check for uniqueness on the ID columns. We're gonna check that the row count is greater than zero. And we're gonna do some other checks on from on some different columns too. So now that we have those uh, test events set up, both in Tosca, which are now coming in through QTest, now we're gonna kick those events off using Azure DevOps. So here we have a pipeline that's set up. And the way it works is first, we're gonna run some database validation, then API, and then the GUI. So they're gonna run back to back. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and kick it off. So let's queue this up here. Let's run. So first things, DB validation is gonna run. So that's gonna be this test event here. Then we're gonna run the API and then the GUI. So let's keep looking at this here. So this is using the uh, text execution client. Um, and what this is doing, it's gonna, you know, hit our task server URL. It's gonna call our project name and this is gonna hit our test event and we're also polling um, the the server every 20 seconds so that's what this is here it looks like we went we ran through the database validation now we're running the API validation and if we look at our event view we see the uh, events running so database ran uh, we see that we have five test cases that passed, but one of them failed. Our API test executed. Both of them passed correctly, which is great. And soon we should be able to see the GUI test event running over here. So now we see that the GUI test event is running. If I look at our pipeline over here, we see that this is executing. It should take about two minutes. Uh, this. This is the test event that has the most test cases so far. All right, great. Looks like the tests have finished running and they're getting posted too. So looks like our pipeline ran successfully. It ran all three types of test events. If I look back at our summary, um, you can also uh, keep the test results within Azure DevOps. So that's an option too. Uh, but we also have those results getting stored here so if I reload over here so let me click over here this is the one that ran two minutes ago we see that the test runs are making their way over here into our QTest setup